We are a basic science lab. We're really exploring basic science that we feel that the Navy can benefit from. And specifically for us, we're focusing on two things. We're focusing on magnetometers, and magnetometers are devices that can be used to detect submarines. And then the other lab is focused on navigation. Can we come up with a system in which we can do navigation without relying on satellites, without relying on GPS? In our case, we're focusing on a very specific science. The science is, it's an amazing science. It's responsible for 12 Nobel Prizes since 1997. Um, and it's the physics of laser cooling of atoms. And we match that up with another technique called atom interferometers to make sensors for our pilots. Typically the way the Navy works right now is you have sonar that pings out and gets an idea of where a submarine might be, but it doesn't have the ability to really focus in on where it is. Um, and so when you want to focus in on where is that submarine, you bring in a magnetometer, a device that measures magnetic fields. But there's a lot of noise out there. There's magnetic noise everywhere. And so we are trying to develop techniques using new technology in which we can take out that noise and better find our submarine. The navigation is basically focused on how do we navigate if we lose our GPS signal? The technology that we're working on is focusing on being able to give you a device that can help you navigate in the absence of GPS. Because our GPS systems can be jammed or environmentally we can lose GPS. And so, um, you know, if we need to be able to get from point A to point B uh, without GPS, we're going to have a problem doing that now. And so the way the process works is we start with a sample of atoms. It's a gas. We shine lasers that have just the right characteristics. The atoms absorb the energy from the lasers, and then they re-radiate that light. And doing that 32 million times a second, you're getting rid of energy, and it cools down. So we can cool from about 850 degrees Celsius all the way down to micro degrees above absolute zero, which is minus 273 degrees C in about two seconds, just using lasers only. That's it. Now the question becomes, what do we do with it? Basically what happens is we make the atoms interfere with each other. Just like waves interfere, like water waves, atoms can do the same thing with an incredible sensitivity. Basically you can think of it this way, there are three laser beams that go in, okay, one, two, and three, and the atoms are going this way. That interference pattern depends on the spacing between these laser beams. Now if I take this entire device and I rotate it, the spacing between these pulses, between these beams of laser light, changes. That's what the atom sees because of the rotation. And so I can back out from this a rotation and now this becomes a gyroscope. Or if I suddenly accelerate the laser beams because my platform suddenly moves, the atoms see the timing changes. I can back out an acceleration. That becomes my onboard inertial navigation. Once we got that basic design, now we can think about shrinking it down, making micro optics instead of big optics. I think of us as the bridge between academia, you know, businesses, and the warfighter. And that's why I think it's so important that we have basic science labs at NOC-AD because if you don't do the basic science yourself, you're not going to understand it. And then for me, it's especially rewarding if we can take the basic science, make something work, and at the same time now make that experiment that worked useful to somebody else. Package it and send it out. And, and now it becomes something useful for the warfighter as well.